Light novels, a unique and dynamic form of short fiction initially aimed at young adults and teens in Japan, have transcended their humble origins to become a pivotal cultural phenomenon. This literary genre has not only wielded considerable influence over Japanese literature, but has also significantly shaped the realms of manga and anime. The synthesis of classic western sci-fi magazine aesthetics with Japanese storytelling traditions birthed light novels which over time have evolved into iconic series and contributed significantly to the rise of genres such as isekai, fantasy and romance. This essay aims to delve into the intricate history of light novels, scrutinizing their origins, highlighting notable contributors and unraveling their transformative impact they have had on Japanese pop culture. The roots of light novels extend back to the establishment of Asahi Sonorama, a division of Asahi Shimbunsha, on September 1959, initially dubbed Asahi Sonopress. The division's primary purpose was to document interviews, news reports, crime scene investigations, and articles on diverse topics, drawing inspiration from the captivating narratives found in classic western sci-fi magazines such as Amazing Stories and Marvel Tales, Asahi Sonorama laid the groundwork for what would evolve into a distinct form of Japanese fiction. The magazine quickly transitioned to releasing content relating to popular pieces of media at the time, like Kaiju and Kamen Rider, but slowly began to integrate new and original stories. The inception of light novels was not only a response to Western literary influences, but also a reflection of socio-cultural shifts occurring in post-war Japan. The desire for accessible, engaging literature that resonated with the youth played a pivotal role in shaping the direction of light novels. Asahi Sonorama's innovative approach, merging journalistic documentation with imaginative storytelling, created a fertile ground for the nascent genre to take root. In the nascent stages of light novels, two influential figures emerged as architects of the genre's early landscape, Hideyuki Kikuchi and Baku Yumi Makura. Their contributions played pivotal roles in reshaping storytelling styles, setting the stage for the diverse and imaginative narratives that would come to define the genre. Hideyuki Kikuchi, a visionary writer, infused the early light novel scene with a dark and atmospheric tone, pioneering themes that would later become synonymous with the genre. His creation, the Vampire Hunter D series, not only showcased Kikuchi's storytelling prowess, but also introduced a new level of sophistication to the world of light novels, breaking away from the conventional narratives of the time. Baku Yumi Makuro, on the other hand, brought a philosophical depth to the genre, exploring intricate themes that challenged traditional norms. His work, On Miyoji, not only captivated readers with its historical richness and supernatural elements, but also laid the foundation for the genre's versatility in blending fantasy with historical contexts. While The Legend of the Galactic Heroes series is often discussed in the context of Japanese popular literature, it is essential to note that technically it does not fall within the traditional category of light novels. Originating as a series of space opera novels written by Yoshikita Tanaka, The Legend of Galactic Heroes, a universe expanded into a multifaceted franchise, including anime adaptations, manga series, and even stage plays. First published in the 1980s, these epic novels, characterized by their intricate political plots and complex character relationships, have become a seminal work within the realm of Japanese science fiction. The series distinguishes itself by its profound exploration of socio-political themes, grand-scale battles, and nuanced characters, and would later greatly influence early light novels in their content. Record of Lodos War by Ryo Mizuno, initially conceived as a series of tabletop role-playing game sessions, stands as a quintessential example of the genre's deep roots in fantasy and Dungeons and Dragons. This classic high fantasy series not only captivated readers with its compelling characters, but also set the stage for future light novels with its immersive world-building. The success of Record of Lodos War marked a turning point, demonstrating the potential of adapting role-playing experiences into compelling narratives. The interconnectedness of tabletop gaming and light novels became a hallmark of the genre, allowing readers to immerse themselves in fantastical worlds where every decision held consequences. Hajime Kanazaka's Slayers, which emerged in the early 1990s, left an undeniable mark on both light novels and anime with its unique blend of fantasy, magic, and humor. Kanazaka's ability to seamlessly integrate elements of humor into a rich fantasy setting appealed to a broader audience, expanding the reach of light novels beyond its traditional demographic. Kanazaka's Slayers not only distinguished itself through its narrative innovation, but also through its memorable characters, most notably the fierce and quick-witted protagonist, Lena Inverse. Lena's charismatic presence and her dynamic interactions with other characters added depth to the series, making it a standout in the fantasy genre. 
Furthermore, Slayers contributed to the popularization of themes related to Dungeons and Dragons, as the story often transported characters into parallel worlds filled with mythical creatures and powerful adversaries. This narrative approach has since become a significant trend in both light novels and anime, demonstrating Kanazaka's lasting influence on the medium. The success of Slayers not only paved the way for subsequent light novel adaptations, but also underscored the enduring appeal of well-crafted, humor-infused fantasy storytelling. Fuyumi Ono's The Twelve Kingdoms, renowned for its detailed and immersive fantasy world, showcased the genre's capacity to explore political intrigue and character development in a sophisticated manner. By delving into intricate societal structures and personal growth, Ono elevated the expectations of what light novels could achieve, proving that the genre was not confined to mere escapism, but could also be a vehicle for profound storytelling. The Haruhi Suzumiya light novel series, written by Nagaru Tanegawa and illustrated by Noizi Ito, has left an undeniable mark on the world of Japanese literature and popular culture since its debut in 2003. Centered around the eccentric and unpredictable high school student Haruhi Suzumiya, who unknowingly possesses godlike powers, the series blends elements of science fiction, fantasy, and slice of life genres. What sets Haruhi novels apart is their innovative narrative structure, as events unfold not in chronological order but in a disjointed manner, mirroring the whimsical nature of Haruhi's desires. Haruhi Suzumiya's impact extends beyond the literary realm, as the series has been adapted into anime, manga, and even a feature film. The anime adaptation, particularly The Melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya, gained immense popularity for its unique storytelling approach and memorable characters. The phenomenon of the Harahara Yukai, the ending dance sequence from the anime, became a viral sensation and showcased the series' ability to capture the imagination of fans globally. The character of Haruhi herself became an iconic figure in anime and manga culture, symbolizing the unpredictable and extraordinary. Haruhi's energetic personality and her pursuit of the extraordinary have resonated with audiences, making her a memorable and beloved character. Additionally, the series' blend of genres and narrative experimentation has influenced subsequent light novels, encouraging authors to take creative risks and explore unconventional storytelling methods. The Haruhi Suzumiya light novel series played a pivotal role in popularizing the light novel format globally, introducing international audiences to the unique storytelling style and character-driven narratives typical of the genre. Its success not only in Japan but also abroad paved the way for a surge in interest in light novels among readers worldwide. Moreover, the anime adaptation of Haruhi Suzumiya, with its compelling narrative and innovative approach, contributed significantly to the trend of adapting light novels into anime series, influencing subsequent productions and contributing to the global appeal of anime and light novel adaptations. The evolution of light novels post the surge of popularity brought on by Haruhi saw the emergence of several key series that further solidified the genre's influence on Japanese popular culture. One such noteworthy contribution is Spice and Wolf by Isuna Hasekura, a tale that masterfully combines elements of economics, romance, and adventure, thereby contributing significantly to the popularization of the fantasy and romance genres. Spice and Wolf introduced a level of sophistication rarely seen in light novels, weaving together intricate economic concepts with a blossoming romance set against the backdrop of a medieval-inspired world. Hasekura's meticulous attention to detail not only appealed to seasoned readers, but also attracted a new demographic interested in the genre's capacity for intellectual engagement. Reiki Kawahara's Sword Art Online, a widely popular and influential series, delves into virtual reality, gaming, and relationships within a virtual world, addressing contemporary themes in a thought-provoking manner. Kawahara's exploration of the psychological and emotional impact of virtual reality gaming resonated with a generation that was increasingly intertwined with technology, marking a significant shift in the thematic landscape of light novels. The concept of a character being brought to another world and given a new chance in life kickstarted the modern boom of light novels, manga, and anime using a similar concept, creating the genre that is known as isekai, meaning another world. Largely thanks to the sudden popularity of Sword Art Online, especially after the anime adaptation, Isekai grew to become one of the biggest and most beloved and also most controversial genres in modern Japanese media. The controversy stemming from the cliches that would often reoccur in future Isekai, as well as numerous problematic elements like harems, mistreatment of women, slavery, and racial conflict being explored in inadequate or superficial ways. Numerous contemporary light novels have continued to shape the landscape of Japanese literature and entertainment. The Monogatari series by Nisio Isin, characterized by its intricate dialogue and exploration of supernatural elements, has garnered a dedicated and passionate fanbase. 
Isin's unique narrative style, often relying on extensive dialogue and wordplay, elevated light novels to a form of literary artistry, challenging conventional notions of storytelling. The success of the Monogatari series not only further solidified the global appeal of light novels, but also inspired a new wave of anime adaptations that sought to capture the intellectual and artistic essence of the source material, signaling a broader acceptance of light novels as a legitimate and influential literary medium in the world of entertainment. Boogie Pop by Kohei Kodono, considered a pioneer in the genre, stands out for its psychological horror and innovative non-linear storytelling techniques. Kodono's experimental narrative structure, reminiscent of postmodern literature, brought a level of sophistication to the horror genre within light novels, expanding the boundaries of what readers could expect from this medium. No Game No Life by Yu Kamiya gained widespread popularity for its laser focus on gaming and strategy, resulting in various media adaptations that further expanded its reach. Kamiya's meticulous attention to the strategic intricacies of gaming, combined with vibrant and charismatic characters, not only attracted avid gamers, but also introduced a new audience to the possibilities within the light novel medium. No Game No Life not only stands out for its intense gaming narrative, but also captivates audiences with its unique twist on the isekai genre, transporting its protagonists, siblings Sora and Shiro, into a fantastical world governed by gaming challenges. The series seamlessly blends the real and virtual realms. The duo's exceptional gaming skills and strategic prowess take on a new dimension as they navigate the surreal landscape of Discord. This isekai setting adds an extra layer of excitement to the narrative, enticing fans of both gaming and fantasy genres. The fusion of isekai elements with the meticulous attention to gaming strategy elevates No Game No Life beyond a conventional light novel, making it a must-read for those seeking a thrilling adventure in the realms of both gaming and alternate worlds. Toradora by Yuyuko Takemiya, a romantic comedy acclaimed for its well-developed characters and emotional depth, exemplifies the genre's versatility in capturing diverse audiences. Takemiya's ability to blend humor, romance, and genuine emotional moments created a narrative that transcended genre boundaries, appealing to readers seeking a more nuanced and emotionally resonant experience. The novel's strength lies in its nuanced exploration of complex relationships, particularly in the central dynamic between the protagonists Ryuji Takatsu and Taiga Aisaka, the characters' multifaceted personalities and the gradual unfolding of their vulnerabilities contribute to the novel's emotional richness. Takemiya skillfully weaves a tapestry of teenage emotions, addressing themes of friendship, self-discovery, and the intricate balance between love and friendship. Toradora delves into the characters' internal struggles, providing readers with a profound understanding of their motivations and fears. The narrative's authenticity is further accentuated by its exploration of societal expectations and the characters' attempts to navigate the challenges of adolescence. With its well-crafted blend of humor, romance, and introspection, Toradora stands as a testament to the power of light novels to transcend mere entertainment and to offer readers a thought-provoking and emotionally satisfying literary experience. Origairu, or My Teen Romantic Comedy Snafu, by Wataru Watari, is recognized for its realistic portrayal of high school life and social dynamics, resonating with a broad readership. Watari's exploration of the complexities of interpersonal relationships, combined with a protagonist who defies traditional stereotypes, contributed to the genre's ability to reflect and comment on societal norms, making it relevant and relatable to readers beyond the adolescent demographic. In conclusion, light novels have traversed a remarkable evolutionary journey, transforming from the origins in classic western sci-fi magazines to the vibrant and diverse narratives witnessed today. Influential contributors such as Hideyuki Kikuchi and Baku Yumimakura have paved the way for iconic series like The Record of Lados War and Slayers, while contemporary works like Sword Art Online and the Monogatari series continue to mold and redefine the genre. These light novels have not only left an undeniable mark on Japanese literature, but have also permeated global pop culture through anime and manga adaptations. From their modest beginnings in the late 1950s to their current status as a cultural phenomenon, light novels have consistently illuminated imaginative worlds, captivating audiences across borders, and inspiring new generations of storytellers to explore the limitless possibilities within this distinctive form of fiction. The genre's ability to adapt and incorporate diverse themes, coupled with the creativity of its contributors, ensures that light novels will continue to be a driving force in shaping the future of storytelling in Japan and beyond. In a future video, I may delve into more light novels from the 2010s and 20s as the light novel industry has truly blossomed in the last decade, also witnessing many light novel anime adaptations.